So here's what I have. I have two heat muffs coming off the right side of the engine. This one's coming off of cylinder number four. And this one over here is coming off of number three. And so what we've got is air that comes in here. I'll explain that in a moment. Comes out the scat tube, goes down here to the first heat muff. The hot air comes out, goes over to the intake side of the second heat muff, and it comes out in the second heat muff, and then goes down to the flapper valve inside the cockpit. So this is where the air comes in. And this piece is adjustable uh, just by pivoting it on that screw. So I can open or close this. When I opened it all the way, I got basically zero heat because there was just way too much air going through. When I went through the heat muffs, it just didn't have enough time to pick up any air. So I tried closing this down almost all the way and incrementally on different flights, I worked on backing it off until it really didn't do much and then pushing it back again. So that's about where I get the best results. So in the cockpit, this is where I pull for heat and that opens up the flapper valve there on the firewall and lets the warm air in. And when I push that, it closes the flapper valve keeps the heat from coming out. So when the flapper valve is closed, all the heat coming through the scat tube here just dumps out here into the cowl and goes right out the bottom. So in the summertime or times where you're not using the heat, it's not, uh, it's not heating anything up. It's just getting uh, blown right out the bottom of the cowl. When I had just a single heat muff on there, it really didn't work at all. With two heat muffs on there, uh, anything in the 50s, it's pretty comfortable. Um, Anything with the outside air temperature in the 40s, it, it helps. Um, but once you get down into the 30s, it's, it's pretty much useless. At that point, you're just getting cold air in the cockpit, and it's not, uh, not doing anything useful.